How's your morning? Chilling. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Have I met a couple of you? No? Have you met have you met before? Y'all got us, y'all who's like the biggest oh, fan here? Who's the who's the biggest who's the biggest yeah. Fifth Harmony fan? All of you equally. I have something to say. I remember when we came out to San Diego for our first mall tour. Yeah. I remember San Diego being all of our favorite city because the girls and just our fans that were in the crowd were so hyped. I felt mm. like we actually needed an arena because of how <laughs> hyped the place was. That's awesome. It was crazy. Your fans, I think, are some of the most diehard that we've seen. When you see they on social media, yeah. I think One Direction and you They're guys probably so have cute. the most diehards. Tell us about a tell us about a time like the fans got a little too crunk. A little too you know what I'm saying? You can like never get a little too crunk. A little, a little too much. Where you're like, did that just it's happen? Just enough. Did that really just happen? What's one of those stories where like somebody shows up at a weird place or? Um, I think it's really entertaining when we have our fans waiting outside our hotel. Yeah. They literally like camp out, just waiting for someone to just peek through the window. And like if we just go like this, they start screaming just their butt off like there's a concert going on. Um, but our fans are so so dedicated and so supportive of us. So we really 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 love them since the get go. They've yeah. been here since X Factor, so we really love them since day one. Yeah. It was uh, four years ago, which is crazy to think about. You know. Tell oh us gosh. like how much even you've changed as a person. You were 15. I was 15, yeah. Um, I think there's definitely a lot of growth and uh, more of a uh, responsibility thrown on me personally because I'm so used to having my family with me or yeah. having my parents close to me. So it was more of me like growing up and like stepping in and finally being a big girl. Yeah. That had to happen real quick. <laughs> Did you learn anything the hard way? Like any mistakes? Because in the public eye, making mistakes is not usually not fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard being in the public eye and being that young. Of course, you're going to make mistakes and you're going to be judged on it, which is the sad part because they look so into it, into your mistakes, right. that they hold on to that forever. But at the same time, I look at it as I'm growing up, growing up in the public eyes, just challenging. Yeah. And I think also, though, I, I've learned to kind of accept it, and all of us girls have, but... Um, it's going to happen. Mistakes are going to happen. And that's just part of growing up, yeah. honestly. I think that's us being normal girls, basically, mm -hmm. too. Right. I know people understand. I think people, your fans understand that, right? That they're growing yeah. up. Do you guys I understand? I mean, if I, were, if I was <laughs> no you judgment. guys at your age, I would have been, uh, been that person on the tabloids, probably. So. <laughs> and you guys are not. I feel like yeah. you guys have It's maintained. been really clean. Wow, it's true. Yeah. We don't hear a lot of like, really, like gossip about you guys. Yeah. Really? You keep no. it clean. Oh, thanks. You got you to be worse. You got to be worse. No, that's good. That's Somebody's we'll got to get in trouble. Keep it there. Yeah, right. For sure. Okay. Okay, so uh, the album comes out in May. Seven. You guys ready for the album? Yeah. You don't oh, understand wow. how excited I am for this new era for us. You don't understand. Yeah. I think this this song, Work From Home, is just a little snippet of what's to come. And I think it's like a perfect, it's like a little book. Here's the intro of what's to come on 727. Do you guys like the song, by the way? Yeah. yeah. Oh, thanks. I had a feeling yeah. you might like the song. Now, you were <laughs> saying when we were in the studio that you couldn't say too much about the album. I can't. Now, I don't want to pressure you too much. Okay. But I want you to break some news about the album right here, right now. Something that, you know, <laughs> a little bit. Just give us a little sneak peek so of something. So you're still asking for it. Yeah. <laughs> I want something much. here. I want something. We're, we're, all, we're all we're excited about the album, right? Okay. We want like a little sneak preview. Um, this album is definitely vibey. It's more eclectic, edgy, um, definitely a lot of hype. There is a lot of like dancey songs because I know y'all like, love to dance. Um, but there are moments where we are very vulnerable and lyrically and everything. I think this is the time where we actually got to sing. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what was kind of special about us in the beginning. I think from, uh, what song was it? Impossible is yeah. where it all started. So we're kind of sharing those little moments in this album. Where we can sing. Well, obviously, they're very <laughs> excited. You guys are really excited about it, right? Yeah, yeah <laughs> for sure. Um, we had a few questions from the work that you guys put in, and then you were going to be able to take some pictures and stuff. Where's so Janessa? Where's Janessa? Janessa, hi, Janessa. Hi, Here's Janessa. Here's Janessa's question. What kind of dipping sauce do you like with your chicken nuggets and french fries? I love your question. It's a good one. Awesome. Oh my gosh, now one. you're making me hungry right now. Um, dipping sauce from my what? French fries <laughs> or chicken nuggets french slash fries. chicken nuggets. So both, or is there a difference between the two? Um, dipping sauce. I would say ranch. Ranch. Ranch, ranch is perfect for ranch everything. Is awesome. Ranch or ketchup. <laughs> oh I'm a ranch girl. <laughs> Way um, to answer that one. Or the Polynesian sauce at Chick Fil A. Ooh, good one. Yep. <laughs> That's the biggest <laughs> reaction of the day. Ooh. Ooh, yes, yes. Uh, what is your favorite thing about making an album? That's from Caleb. Where's Caleb? There's Caleb. Yeah. Favorite thing about oh, making hi. an album. My favorite thing about making an album. I think what was special about this album is that we had more of a voice of yeah. what we wanted to say and the vibe that we wanted to go with. Um, 
that's that's a huge important thing. That's a very important thing because it's real when it comes from an artist of what their vision is. Right. So that was very special of this one. Good answer. Uh, what's your favorite lyric off the new album? See, you're trying to get it. Where's, where's Kayla? <laughs> Kayla's trying to get a scoop, too. That's right, okay, Kayla. You know how to work girl. it. Um, work. Work, work. <laughs> 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 I'm trying so hard not to get caught up right now because I'm the one that always slips up between the girls. Right. With a little secret. You're secrets. the weakest link right now. I am. We're going to get it out of you right now. Do you get in trouble if you mess up like that? Like, or not or leak something? Do you get in trouble? Um, Not really. I just get, like, the death stare from the girls. I'm sure. <laughs> just like, Dinah. <laughs> <laughs> and I know from that point, just keep my mouth shut. Uh, Amel wants to know, do you um, wax or do you thread your eyebrows? Um, That's a very important question. Yeah. Well, we're always in a rush, so it's always threading, and I hate. I, mean, I hate waxing. It's always waxing when we're on the go. Yeah. But I'm a threading girl. <laughs> it's painful to <laughs> sit there. I don't know if any of you boys have experienced threading, um, but threading is so painful, but so worth it. Every guy's like, <laughs> hey, oh. worth it. I really didn't mean to throw that in there. <laughs> Back to that Polynesian sauce, there, right? It's really good, right? <laughs> Ooh, it's a good reaction from you guys. All right, final question. Uh, what was your favorite part about work from home video? The video. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of favorite things. <laughs> just <laughs> kidding. Um, I think my favorite part was just the fact that we got to get a little. We were we were more edgier this time yeah. with this video. Um, I think it was just style wise and the scenery was so different for us. Um, being construction workers and um, working with all these men on the scene, it was really hard <laughs> to focus. Yeah. I'm not I'm not kidding. It was really hard to focus, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ty Dolla Sign. I had to. I actually had to give a shout out to him. I so love him. Um, when we were working on the song, we were trying to figure out who to put on the song, and I immediately thought of him. And I was like, we have to get him on this track. Just the way he he brings something different to it, a different flair, different vibe. So we really, really appreciate him. The video is cool. The song is. You like the song, right? You guys like the song. The guys are hot in the video. The, the guys are hot. That's pretty much what you got down to. Yeah. The guys are hot. Yeah. The girls are hot. I yeah. just the hot. No, yeah. honestly, yeah. when I was watching the video, I was looking back at it. I was like, why are they hotter than us? No, it's they're like, not. No, so it's, it's no, equal. No, no, no. It's equal, no, no, man. No, no. I mean, it's like, it's whoa. A good thing. It was a good I, thing. I think it was a good Crazy. job all around. Yeah. All around. Good video. For good sure. job. <laughs> Thank you. So I want to share yeah, a quick moment that happened in the studio. Is that, is that Gina shared this, and it's so true. Is about them. You know, you've seen their kind of their career as it's progressed, right? Yeah. Well, I say. I've been in the radio business for a long time, so I see a lot of groups or artists when they first start, and then they come back in four years later, and they're different people. And wh what I told you in the studio is that they're not different people. You're not, at least, you know, and, and it, they, they, you guys have maintained you're always very nice and very humble and very down to earth, and you don't see that a lot with a lot of artists. So I was just telling her in private, thank you for staying that way because you see so many people coming here with big heads or whatever. These yeah. girls are not. They're yeah. still the same people well, that you. I remember when Mitchell. Yeah. Thank you so much. Very cool. Yeah. Very I, th cool. I think also it's a big thank you to our family that come on the road with us. Mm -hmm. It's definitely humbling for them just to remind us too of like where we came from. Mm -hmm. So I always need that. I need a reminder because sometimes there was a couple of times on the road where, you know, you're, you got a little big mouth on the road and you start talking back to your parents. Your mom's like, <laughs> what'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> say that one more time. <laughs> Brings back we need that. We need that little reminder cool. sometimes. Right. So thanks to them. Yeah, <laughs> it's good to see people like you become successful. Oh my yeah. god! And people like Thank them you become so successful. Much. You guys deserve it. And look Thank at this. You. you guys ready to yeah. meet her? You, you guys, guys want to get a picture and stuff?